Hey, Tim Streifler here with Divi Live, and we are live again for another Divi Live quick tip. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook. So if you're watching right now, thank you so much for joining live. And if you are watching, go ahead and leave me a comment wherever you're watching YouTube, Facebook, and just say live just so I know who's here and where you're watching from, that sort of thing. And then if you happen to be watching the replay, leave me a comment and just write replay. That helps me for tracking purposes so I know how many people are watching, wh where people are watching from, and that sort of thing. So again, if you're watching right now live, uh, just say hello and say live. If you're watching the replay later, wherever you're watching, YouTube, Facebook, on the Divi Life blog, just leave a comment and say replay. That helps me out tremendously. So um, again, we are live and, and uh, going to be doing another Divi Live quick tip. So today... Uh, the tutorial is on how to make your Divi 4.0 header fixed or sticky. Now, on Friday, we actually did a live tutorial. Um, had some technical difficulties, so I re-recorded it. So the uh, replay isn't actually the recorded or isn't the live version. Um, but basically, in that tutorial, I showed you how to make your header fixed. Now, that tutorial works great. It's a purely a C CSS solution. It works great if you want your entire header to be fixed. However, with the complex templates that you can do, header temp templates that you can do with Divi 4.0, you might not want the entire header to be fixed or sticky to the top. And so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make just a portion of it stick to the top. So if you have a complex header layout that you've built in the new Divi 4.0 uh, custom header builder, well then you don't have to make the uh, everything fixed. And so for example, if you're using the one of the new theme builder packs with the really cool custom headers um, with Divi 4.0 that they've been releasing the last couple of days, well you might not want everything fixed to the top and so, because it's kind of giant, and so I'm going to show you how to make it sticky. So shout out to Craig from Divi Theme Example. So I took some of his code, made some adjustments, so wanted to give him credit. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So if you're watching live right now, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Again, let me know that you're watching live. If you're watching the replay, just type replay so I know uh, who's here and, and, and that sort of thing, because there's always a little bit of a delay with the live, and so I'm talking like you know, maybe five to 10 to 15 seconds ahead of when you're seeing it. And so um, I like to kind of get some feedback. And so I know what the delay is like, because it can vary from from day to day. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And so what you should be seeing here is a blog post on my website, divilife.com. And this uh, blog post right here, it's not yet alive. This is a draft version, but basically this is going to be the completed tutorial that will show you, uh, how to make your Divi 4.0 header fixed or sticky. And so there's actually two tutorials. This is the one from Friday that will make the entire header fixed, which is adding uh, a couple lines of CSS. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. And then the second tutorial, which is the one we're going through today, which will be making just a portion of it sticky. And so it actually uses some JavaScript here. Nothing too complex. Um, I'm going to show it to you right now. So the first method here, this is the one we did on Friday. You can see here the entire header is fixed to the top. So this top portion as well as this one here. And that works great. And the, uh, the code in the tutorial, you can see... Uh, will not stay on mobile. So because on mobile, you don't want that much screen real estate being taken up. And so the code will automatically uh, remove it on mobile. And so it only makes it fixed to the top on desktop. So that was the tutorial on Friday. And so if you're on the blog post watching the replay, then you can get that code here and it, and it walks you through. Uh, we can watch the video that will we'll show it to you. Today's tutorial, though, it's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to uh, fix the entire header. We're going to only make a portion of it sticky. And so you can see here in this example, we have essentially three different sections. We have this top sales banner here. We have the middle kind of main menu. And then below it, we have a sub menu right here. Now, that works out great. And there's a lot of information there, but you might not want all three of those sections to stick. It's just kind of a lot, and you might want to simplify it. And so in this example here, it's only that middle portion that's sticky. And so um, uh, it makes it a lot cleaner looking and, and uh, 
less distractions too overall. So I'm uh, gonna refresh the chat here, make sure I'm not missing anything, okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And by the way, so this banner here um, is built using the Divi Theme Builder. Now, if you wanted to use something that would allow you to dismiss this banner notification, then Divi Bars, which is a, a plugin we released a while back, uh, very feature rich. It'll allow you to create these promo banners here and they have a little more features such as being able to dismiss it. And so I basically rebuilt this one here on a different site and you can dismiss it. That way you can get it out of the way and it's completely gone. And then if you refresh the page, you can see it grabs the user's attention and you can set the timer and has a whole bunch of other features. So I wanted to do a soft little pitch talking about Divi bars there. But if you just want the simple banner that's always on, then you can do it with the Divi theme builder. And so again, this is what we're going to be building right now, making this middle section sticky. And so I'm going to go back over here and I have my local site. And so uh, you can follow along if you're watching the replay here in the blog post. And so step one is to actually copy this custom CSS. And so I'm gonna go over to the site and I'm gonna to go to theme options. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this custom CSS here into Divi theme options. Now, if you're using a child theme and you have it, all your, your CSS in your style.css style sheet, that's fine. You can put the, the CSS there. It doesn't really matter where you put it, just wherever you're comfortable. I just put it here just for simplicity's sake for the tutorial. And so now that I've done that, now step two is to go into the theme builder and add our custom CSS ID, which is divi-sticky-header. And so I have it here in the text. And so if you're watching it live, you can come back to this blog post here. I'm going to publish it later today. And you can uh, get this, um, this code that's uh, compiled here in the blog post. So step two is to grab that CSS ID and we're gonna add it to the, to the header. So I'm gonna to go to, over to the new theme builder and I'm gonna open up the global header. Now, what, if what you're seeing here looks confusing, then you probably want to go and watch the Divi theme builder documentation and they walk you through kind of how all this works. And so, um, and actually, if you go to the layout builder packs that they have, so here's the one from, I think, yesterday. This is the one we're using here in the tutorial. There's a tutorial that will walk you through how to import it. And so basically, where I am here is what you get after you follow the, these steps here that are on the Elegant Themes blog, which is basically just uh, downloading the template pack and then coming over here to the portability section and importing the all because um, when you download the, the theme builder pack, they give you the individual uh, templates and then you can have one that's all of them together. And so I just imported all of them. So that's how I got here, just to be clear. Okay, so getting back to the tutorial, we've already uh, copied and pasted the custom CSS and a Divi theme options. Now we need to add the custom CSS ID to the template section settings. And so to do that, we're gonna open up our global header that's gonna launch the template editor here. Now, I mentioned this in a previous tutorial, but when you're editing templates like this, header templates, there's three different sections going on here, but then there's a row inside the section. Sometimes it can be kind of hard, because right now there's all of this uh, padding right here for the row, and so if I double click here, what I'm actually opening up is the row settings, and you might not realize it because you double clicked on the blue uh, icon for the settings, but it actually opened up the row settings. And if you add it there, it's not gonna do exactly what you want. And so what I always recommend doing when editing header templates like this is going into wireframe mode. That way you can kind of see an overall structure of what is there in the template. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this top section here. Now we can go and go back to the visual settings. So I'm editing this, or I'm sorry, I wanna edit the middle section. I'm sorry, I need to go back here to wireframe mode, open up the middle section, and then I'm gonna go back to visual mode just so I can show you what I'm looking at here. So this is the section settings for this middle setting here. Now, if you're just now jumping on live, I know it's a little bit delayed. Um, we are going through a tutorial on how to uh, make the 
Divi 4.0 theme builder template, making the header uh, sticky. And so, um, but not just the entire header, only a portion of it. So that way you can kind of simplify what sticks to the top. <clears throat> Nick said live, but feeding baby. So I may have to catch the replay. Awesome, Nick. Well, thanks for joining. And yeah, definitely catch the replay. And by the time the replay is up, this blog post will be published too. So then you can follow along a little bit easier. But yeah, so we are making, uh, this is what we are recreating right here is making it so this middle section is sticky at the top, but everything else scrolls under it. And so rather than making everything stick, um, just making a portion of it sticky. But if you wanted everything to stick, you can go back to the tutorial that we did on Friday that will show you how to make everything stick with just some simple CSS. So, okay, getting back to the tutorial here, we've done step one, uh, adding the custom CSS to theme option. Step two, adding the class. This is where we need to go now. And, or I'm sorry, add the, the custom CSS ID, which is divi-sticky-header. And I, I apologize, I'm repeating myself, but with people jumping on at different times live, I wanna make sure everything's clear. So we're inside the theme builder, inside editing that global header template, and I'm editing this middle section here. So I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab, custom CSS ID and classes, and make sure that you paste it here in the CSS ID. It's, it's so easy to forget where you're pasting and actually put it into the CSS class. I, I know the differences between CSS IDs and classes, uh, and I catch myself by mistake without realizing it, pasting it into the wrong one, just uh, you know, in a hurry, needing to, to copy and paste it. So make sure you paste it into the CSS ID field, and then click the Save button. And then if we were to just go and save it right now and look at the front end, it wouldn't do what we want because there's another step here. So getting back to the tutorial, we need to actually add the JavaScript. And so this script here is the JavaScript that's gonna make it sticky and make it stick only when it gets to that portion of the page and only make that, that middle section stick. And so that's what we want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and go back to the theme builder, my global header. And I'm gonna go back to the wireframe mode and I'm just gonna add right here, this is the, the, sh the section that I'm making sticky. It doesn't really matter where you add this code module but I'm gonna go ahead and add it here, just part of the section, just so I know what it's for. So you can add a code module here, and you're just gonna paste the code from the blog post here directly into that code module. And that's all you need to do, just make sure you save it. And then now we can save the page. And so I'm gonna go back over to here, this is the live version of the page I'm editing. I just have it in a private browsing session or an incognito window just to get rid of that admin bar. And so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it. And if everything worked properly, this middle section should stick. Yes, absolutely, that's what I want. So that's, that's, that's great. So if you wanted to, a couple things you can do with the code. If you wanted it to be a different section, so say you wanted to make this bottom section, all you have to do is move the CSS ID from the middle section and move it down here to the bottom section. So that's all you need to do. Now, I mentioned here at the beginning, I'm using this layout pack here that was published over the weekend uh, in this tutorial. Now, the code here is set for this template, right? And so I'm using this template and so it's basically saying at 50 pixels is when it should kick in that fixed header. Now you might be using a different template pack or you might be using a custom header uh, that you've built from scratch. And so if the height of what you're trying to uh, clear is different, so you can see here, that's about 50 pixels, so that's roughly what I need to clear. But if you needed to clear a bigger area, well then you need to, basically go in and change the code from 50 to 100 or to 150. So it depends on what template pack you're using or if you're using a, a custom. So for example, for this one here, when I was testing this out on this layout and I made just this bottom section, I, I think I put in 100 pixels to clear this the height of this top section here. And so you can play and, and do it trial by error or you can open up uh, an incognito uh, 
or I'm not an incognito, uh, an inspect element. So I'm, I'm using Safari. Normally I inspect in Chrome because it's way better, but that's why 100 pixels works so well. I can change it to 99. But basically you want whatever the height is of the top section above it to be what matches um, here in the code. And so when you copy and paste this, if you copy and paste it and you're using this, um, the third uh, part three of the, the Divi template pack, then it'll work perfectly. But if you're using something else, you need to, to change that code when you add it here to the header module. So um, just want to make that clear. So you need to change that to, for example, if you're using um, this template pack here, then you need to change it to 99. Um, so the numbers that you would change, whoops, are right here. So there's where it says 50, you would change both of those to 99. So you might have to play with it, do some trial and error, but um, the best way is to, to inspect them and look at the height of whatever is above it that you, you want to clear um, and basically until it kicks in that sticky menu. So um, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment here. Thank you for, for everyone that uh, tuned in live. And uh, if you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching the replay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this blog post here on the DiviLife.com blog here in a couple of minutes. And so, um, so yeah, thanks, everyone, for tuning in live. Thanks, Keith. Appreciate it. Love it. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.